Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It won't take uh, that long, so we'll not be late for our lunch break. So I'll be talking upon uh, this topic. Ever wondered which company best suits you? So yeah, of course, uh, I don't have superpowers, so I cannot recommend you the best company to work, work with uh, without your input. So how this is going to work is, uh, if you have a list of companies that you are skeptical about, and then uh, you, I can make summary reports on each of these companies, and then you can pick the company that you are interested in. So let's get started how it works. So introducing myself, I'm Taneja. I'm flying from uh, India. So I'm currently uh, pursuing my master's in uh, uh, data science in ESSEC Business School. So I have three years of work experience, two years in Tesco and one year in uh, eBay as a data analyst. So I'll kind of relate how this presentation, this project helped me in choose uh, my next company. So uh, we'll come back to this discussion uh, once we are uh, uh, progress in the presentation. So uh, how do I find the best company? So best is usually a relative word, right? I mean, uh, what works well for me might not work well for others. Of course, uh, there's one uh, major influence, salary. So I think everyone agrees upon that. But yeah, of course, we have uh, other uh, influences which kind of affect our choice in making the decision in choosing the company. So uh, for example, work-life balance, uh, management and manager, career growth. So all these influences. So if you think about it, uh, Suppose everything is a review, then we are talking about uh, you know numbers as a data input. So how we manipulate all, all these data inputs so that we achieve our, our goal. So if you have a lot of numbers, of course, you can slice and dice them and then uh, find the answer. But if you have uh, uh, something like text, it would help you for, to find the nitty gritty details. So we'll see how it helps. So. If we need to know everything about the company, uh, there is one website, Glassdoor. I think uh, most of you guys know about it. So it already has a lot of reviews, employee reviews on different companies. So we do have different profiles over there. So uh, for example, uh, on the left side, so there is Amazon. So if you open it, there are close to 35,000 reviews written on Amazon. So, uh, but yeah, of course, we can't uh, keep on reading to understand each of the reviews. So what we do is, you know, summarize everything that's there on the website about a, different, about a particular company, and then we can uh, make our choice. So for example, uh, the second picture, it's one of the sample reviews. So there's a little description, nice place to work. And then uh, the user rated 5 on 5 overall. And then there's a little drop down uh, right next to it. So if you expand it, uh, you can go to the third image. So there are uh, five areas where uh, the employee rates the company on. So uh, why I'm spending time on this is, all of this is the data that we'll be using to judge a company. And then uh, there's a line about his work experience uh, with that particular company, here Amazon in this case. And then we have uh, some text on pros and then some text on cons. So we have uh, input data of both text and numeric. So of course, we need to perform some text analysis in this case. So uh, right now, all this information is on website, uh, and it's not aggregated. So what is the methodology that we are going to employ so that we can summarize everything? So of course, we need to web scrape the data, and then uh, convert into rows and columns. And then we find the insights using the numerical data and then perform some text analysis. Uh, we'll go to uh, in details uh, going forward. So yeah, uh, all of this code is in my GitHub link, uh, and you can find the link in the uh, description of the talk. So I used uh, URL lib and then beautiful soap to uh, make the scraping. And then once the scraping is done, you'll find the data in this format. So uh, this is for one particular company, Tesco, uh, my uh, first job. So we have employee IDs, and then uh, the date of their review, and then the short description that we saw. And then we have uh, different numbers talking about uh, the rating, including the overall rating. 
And then we have the text on pros, cons, and then advice to management, uh, which is kind of neutral. So uh, we have all the data in rows and columns now. So first, we can uh, use the numerical data. If we use the numerical data, uh, we can almost form a rough, uh, you know, broad picture upon a company. So, and yeah, of course, uh, we also have the salaries, uh, but salaries in this slide are in Indian rupees, uh, and it's on uh, jobs in India. I mean, so if you convert it into euros, I think that's not very convincing. But yeah, uh, you can uh, use this algorithm to, you know, uh, hit upon a company. Uh, in Europe, so if you have reviews on the company, so uh, the whole uh, script takes like close to 15 to 20 minutes, so it's uh, yeah interesting to play with it. Yeah, so uh, here I'm working uh, on a company Tesco. So once we have all the data in the rows and columns format, so we can uh, kind of analyze it. So here I'm analyzing four companies that I'm interested in back then: Tesco, HSBC, Target and Amazon, all of them are uh, good companies in terms of analytics division back in my uh, city, Bangalore. So, so yeah, these are the uh, salaries uh, in the software division and in analytics division. So if you compare it with the overall rating, it kind of relates in terms of software and uh, it's more or less the same in analytics division. So again, uh, we are discussing about the numeric data which is a uh, kind of routine uh, in terms of analyzing it. So the overall rating, uh, you know, uh, is almost the same for Tesco, except in the 2017 H2. That's because uh, there's a change in CEO and the sentiment of the employees back then took a drift. So yeah, that was one reason. And uh, career opportunities and senior management are the uh, are influencing. Uh, this overall overall rating in comparison with uh, other met metrics like work-life balance. So yeah, again, uh, we are going to deal with the last set of numbers. So how uh, employee ratings and the work experience of uh, work experience of employees working in the same company is related. So the longer that you stick with the company, the more happier you are working with the company unless you are stuck. So yeah, it increases. And then uh, employee ratings versus function. So all of this data is uh, something that we got from the internet. So we just got everything. We just scraped into rows and columns. So it is very easy to perform this uh, you know, uh, outline analysis. And now the interesting part is how you deal with the text. So we have uh, lots of reviews. So in this example, when I took the company Tesco, I have close to 3,000 reviews. And what do you do about reviews? So you have 3,000 pros, you have 3,000 cons, and then uh, 3,000 advice to management. So how do you make use of it? So the initial answer would be, you know, form TF-IDF vectors. And then since there are a lot of reviews, you'll end up forming uh, uh, a matrix of a huge dimension. And then you should perform some dimensional reduction algorithms, techniques like SVD or PCA, so that you reduce your dimension and then you know uh, cluster them into different segments. And then eventually you can say that uh, these are the areas areas of improvement uh, in this company. These are you know these are the areas that are working well in this company. So you can make uh, hundreds of comments. But uh, and I actually went and did all this process. And then I realized that my answers are not something that I'm looking for because that's how, because of the data. So data can be tricky and uh, you might have to uh, adopt some simpler techniques instead of the conventional methods of clustering and everything. So if you look into some sample, a sample set of pros. So uh, the best example would be uh, the third one from the bottom. So. Here, that's a pro from uh, one of the employee IDs. So the person is talking about multiple things, like uh, he's appreciating his managers, and then he's also appreciating the technologies that he is working with. And yeah, so there are a couple of things. So uh, what happens if you do the conventional clustering? 
So the whole review, which is actually talking about four multiple things, might be tagged to only one of the topic. So we kind of lose information on the whole review. So that is not our ideal input, right? Because if he is talking about four good things, uh, it should add upon all the four good things. So uh, I followed a very simple and uh, you know easier way of analyzing all this text. So the methodology is identify the keywords that would define a topic, and then tag all the reviews if they're ma mapping with this topic or not. And that's how you know uh, you get uh, topics, and then number of reviews uh, that are talking good about this topic. And remember that uh, you already have pros and cons, so you need not uh, do sentimental analysis, and then find out if this topic is talking well about uh, the company or not. So it's already sorted. Yeah, so, so uh, this is the polarization of key measures. So again, uh, the way I did is uh, you form the TF idea of ma uh, matrix vectors for each of the reviews, and then you identify the important words that are coming up. So you have, uh, uh, you have packages uh, where uh, you can actually find all the words that are related to a particular topic, so you can use them as well. So I cross-checked. I use them to just to cross check my code. It works well. And then, and then yeah. So uh, when I started to label the topics, so on x-axis you can find all different topics that I could think of, uh, or you know that is coming out from the reviews. And then on y-axis you have uh, pros in blue, and then uh, cons in yellow. So uh, on manager and management. Only 60 reviews are talking well about it, and uh, 250 reviews are talking bad about it. So yeah, that is something that the company should work on. So uh, we already saw that how salaries would be helpful for you to make the decision. And apart from that, when you have a lot of text, it also helps you to uh, find the exact pain points in the company, and then uh, you, you know, uh, it might actually affect your uh, choice of taking that. So yeah, uh, here there are a lot of topics, and then we see the polarization of each of the topics. So uh, yeah, the job is almost done. And now uh, when you do the rank matrix, uh, you can actually find the important uh, reviews in each of these uh, topics that we saw earlier, in each of these uh, seven different topics that we see earlier. So, uh, so, and then we can perform clustering within these topics so that you identify the major uh, areas of improvement or, uh, you know, major, you can actually summarize the whole uh, reviews over there. So, for example, uh, someone is talking about rewards and recognition, it's not going uh, very well. Even though it's existing, a lot of people don't know that it existed. So, something like that. So that's how you can come up with recommendations. So the code is in my GitHub. Uh, you guys are most welcome to play with it. Thank you. <laughs>